Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw from Math Plus Academy, and today the math treat is called Tax Collector. This is a problem that I learned about from Dan Finkel, a wonderful and amazing math educator and leader. He, he founded something called Math for Love. You should definitely check out their website. They have amazing games, resources for teachers, just some great stuff for parents and math educators. And let me tell you how this math treat works. It's a really cool problem. Basically, you have a job, let's say, and you're going to get paid. You can choose any of these paychecks over here, but every time you do, the tax collector has to collect some tax from that paycheck. The way the tax collector gets the tax is whatever number you choose for your paycheck, they get all the factors of that number. And then you continue round after round until all the paychecks are gone, and you want to, ha you want to end up with more money then the tax collector ends up. So you sort of want to win by getting the most money here in this scenario. Now, let me just show you how it works so you can see. Uh, let's say I choose for my first paycheck the $10 paycheck. So good news for me, I get $10. Now, that paycheck is gone. We're going to get rid of it. And the tax collector is now going to collect tax on that. All the factors of the number 10, which would be 1, 2, and 5. So the tax collector will grab these checks off the table. I'll tally that up over here. And you know, this doesn't look so bad. So far I have 10, the tax collector has eight. I'm winning at this point. Now I get to choose another paycheck. And remember, anytime I choose a paycheck, there has to be at least one other number up there that the tax collector can take as tax. Otherwise I can't take the paycheck. So for example, I cannot take the 11 now because the only factor of 11 is one and the one has already been taken by the tax collector. So 11, I can't take. Maybe I'll take eight. That seems pretty good. Let me get the eight. The factors of eight are one, two, and four. One and two are gone, but four is still there. So the tax collector can grab that for tax. I get eight, collector gets four. Again, I'm doing pretty well. Now this is going to continue. You're going to get to the point where there are no more numbers that you can take because all of the factors are gone. When that happens, the tax collector clears the board and takes all of those as tax. Yes, life is not fair, but that's how it works. So let's see, what can I take? Maybe I'll take nine. If I take the nine, the tax collector gets the three. The one is already gone. Again, I'm off to a hot start here. I, I, I am well ahead. What's left that I could take? Let, oh, I forgot to cross off the three. What's left? Let's see. The six I can't take because one, two, three are gone. Seven, can't take that because one is gone. Eleven, no. Twelve. Eleven, seven. Nope. Okay, I guess I'm done. So now the tax collector... Oh, sorry, I can't take the twelve because the tax collector will take six. So I get twelve. Tax collector gets six. Now... The tax collector is also going to get everything left, which is the 7 and the 11. So I'll add that over here, a 7 and an 11. So let's, let's add it up. I have, uh, let's see, 20, 30, 39. And the tax collector has 8, 12, 15, 21, 28. Ooh, it's a tie. I didn't even know that could happen. So I did pretty well. The question is, can you beat the tax collector? So I'd like you to try that. Try this a few times. If you have some index cards or something, you might write the paychecks out and then you can kind of easily manipulate them and then see if you can defeat the tax collector by getting more money than the tax collector. If you do, then try to see what's the most money that you can get. How can you get, grab the most money off this table and, and leave the tax collector with the least? That would be the goal, right? And finally, if you figure it out for one through 12, Maybe try a different scenario. Would it be different for 1 through 15, 1 through 20, 1 through 25, 1 through 50, 1 through 100? Um, the 1 through 100 is actually pretty fun. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So that is this week's math treat called the Tax Collector. Thanks to Dan Finkel of Math for Love for sharing this with the world. And give it your best shot. See if you can defeat the Tax Collector. And as always, have fun playing with math.